Hey everybody, wanted to bring you a very, in my opinion, worthwhile Jimmy update. So let's take a look here. First, let me show you my bad dog, Lulu. Lou. She's just so bad. Anyway, I looked out the window and saw this. And I'm trying really hard not to intervene. But. So our girls normally sleep up on this branch. But. Jimmy has been sleeping inside the coop, which is over there, up in there. She's been sleeping in the back by the nesting boxes since the chickies arrived. So a bit of bad news for those of you who don't know is we did lose one of our chicks. Um, we don't know what happened. We came out one night to put them away and they were just in the yard with mom, with Jimmy all day. And we came out to put them away and one was missing. Um, I had seen a cat a strange cat that we hadn't seen before um, up by the chicken area earlier that day. So I'm not sure if a kitty cat got them. We have a bunch of feral cats in this area or what. But So Jimmy, I guess, has taken it, uh, just has believed now that this is the time where the chicks are going to start going up and roosting on the big nest with everybody. I don't know how I feel about that. I still feel like it's pretty, pretty, uh, soon but you can see if we look here at these little guys they can't really figure out how to get up there um their feathers are really coming in so they're getting uh they're getting pretty old they're still very cute in my opinion um but i looked out and saw one of our what we call our raptors who was one of these guys here um, chasing around the chicks, and I was like, what the heck, where's Jimmy? Why is she not protecting them? And then I look over and I see this. So, one of them figured out how to get up there. That must be the smartest of the, of the bunch. And I don't know how she expects to be able to roost under her up there, but I guess they're going to figure that out. <laughs> She's kind of, Jimmy's got her wings spread. Oh, that's pretty cute. Um... So, I was going to try and put these girls up there, but I feel like I should just, maybe if they don't get up there, Jimmy will realize and come down. I don't know. This is the hard part about being a chicken owner. Well, besides the fact that your chickens randomly die, um, <laughs> or get eaten, I should say. But also, trying to not intervene. I just don't want them to get hurt if they try and go up there and can't get up and fall. Uh, it's pretty high. Look at, what is this one doing? She's trying to, like, climb on her foot. But, I mean, this branch is... The top corner up there is is as tall as me. So, five, five foot, five, four. <laughs> um, so, it's... Let's see if she's going to do it. I could... I don't think they're going to make it up there. Ugh. See, if I try and get close to them, they, they just run. They're not used to me. Oh. There we go. I did what I said I wasn't going to do. Oh. See. She's not happy with me. Oh, now she's going to run for the hills. But at least we got two up there. Hi, babies. Hi. Jim, are you being crazy? You being a crazy mama? Oh, let's see if I can get this last one. Look, she's on the door to the... She's on the ramp. She's like, Mom, we're supposed to go this way to bed. Chirping away. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now they're establishing the pecking order on the branch. <laughs> Stepping around on each other. All right. Well, this is the uh, the latest Jimmy update. Oh, here's Miss. Here's a little chicky. 
I'm gonna see if I can get her. I don't know if I can do it with the phone in my hand. Now she's gonna go under. Oh, <laughs> she's like, get me out of here. All right, I'm gonna go fix this situation. Wish me luck.